Hello and welcome to the Devaney Center, home of your Nebraska volleyball team. I'm Lexi Rodriguez, the starting libero for Nebraska. I recently just got the reward for the Defensive Player of the Week, and I am here today to give you some few pointers on how to become a champion like me. First, I'm going to pass through the rules of volleyball. Then I will set the fundamentals of volleyball for you. And finally, I will attack the benefits to society and on yourself. Before you begin any match, you of course want to know the rules of volleyball. According to USA Volleyball, the rules of volleyball stay the same among all variations of the sport. As volleyball can be played indoor, outside on the beach, or even there's sitting volleyball. But the type of volleyball we'll be talking about today is the six person, two team type of volleyball that you all watch today. Volleyball consists of two teams coming against each other with the goal to get the ball down on the other side of the net. The, ball, the rally starts with one team serving to the other team. When the other team receives the serve, this is called serve receive. They have three total contacts in order to get the ball on the other side of the net and on the ground of the other team to get a point. They keep getting points until they get to roughly 25, but it varies on if it's a tournament or just a game. If it's a game, it's the best out of three or five, but tournaments can be two out of three or even less. Some official calls that refs make during games that are important to know and realize are one is being doubles. This is when one player makes a contact with the ball two times in a row, and a ref can show this as awarding the team that wins and calling two. That means one player touched the ball two times in a row. Another one is a back row attack. This one a lot of people don't understand very well, but it's when a player from the back row crosses the 10-foot line and attacks on the other side. The ref would call this by giving the team a point and calling back row. Another one would be out of rotation. As you know, there's six people on a court at a time. If anyone goes out of rotation, the other team is rewarded a point and out of rotation is called. Another one is foot faults. When you go behind the line to serve, you may not pass the line and the line judges can call that. This will be rewarded to the other team and called for a line judge. And another, but this one is very dangerous, is a net fault or a foot fault under the net. This is when a player in the front row makes contact with the net or another player on the team and the other team is rewarded a point and called for that. The other simple, most normal calls can be just the other team getting a point because it landed on the other side or the other team getting a point when the ball goes out. Now, as we begin to, we begin to play, we need to know the fundamentals of playing volleyball. According to stpaul.gov, there are six main components and fundamentals in volleyball that you need to know. These include passing, serving, serving, passing, setting, hitting, and blocking. These are the main fundamentals that I will be going over with you today. As serving is a really important and crucial part of the game, it's what starts each match. To be able to serve, you need to put your hand, the ball in your non-dominant hand and put it up in the air straight in front of you. You need to practice your tosses as this is really important on when you make contact. You put your dominant hand right on top and you draw back. Then as you get better with your tosses, it should land right next to your non-dominant foot. Then as you get better at that, you will be able to toss and hit at the highest point to make the serve go over. Serving good can have a lot of benefits as getting aces is a huge part of volleyball. There's also different types of serves as there's one that you stand in place, you can walk into it, there's a jump serve, and then there's also floaters or roll serves. Another important part of the game is passing. This is what Lexi is really good at, but she has put us down with just the fundamentals for you to get just the passing down. So to start passing, you need to put your non-dominant hand around your dominant hand or just interlock your hands however you'd like. Make sure that you keep your arms straight so when the ball hits your platform, it doesn't go in the wrong direction. 
This skill also requires you to use your legs in order to get the ball to the, where you want it to go. The next one is setting. This one is a little bit hard for some people, and there's normally only one setter, or maybe two if you're running a 6-2 or 5-1. But to set, you need to have the ball very high and reach it at its earliest point. With that, you make a diamond with your hands, just like this, and you push. That will make it so you set up your hitters. But then getting to your hitters, the hitter hitting part is really hard. Your timing has to be perfect, and there's many different type of shots you can hit. I personally am not a very good hitter, so I it's hard to give the best instructions. But what I know is that you start with your dominant foot forward, you take three steps, and you hit at the highest contact. But the jump is the hardest part. You have to get your timing down just right. Once you get good at this skill, you can hit line or even cross shots. Or you can tip. There's so many different types of hits. And finally, blocking. Blocking is another big defensive fundamental that you will need to know. Blocking is when the other ball or the ball is on the other side of the court and you are defending it. This helps your diggers as it hard hitters are hard to dig. Now that we went through the rules and fundamentals of volleyball, let's dive into the benefits that volleyball has on society and on yourself. According to healthfitnessrevolution.com, volleyball has very many obvious health and fitness benefits. It makes you become more healthy by burning fat and toning your muscles. There's many different muscles that are worked when playing volleyball, such as your legs and even your upper body. It also is a mental game. Volleyball, you can easily get in your head when you make a mistake because it's obvious when you make a mistake if you hit it out or you shank it, like it's all on you. So you know that you have to be strong and be able to keep going. It also boosts your mood and drives you to want to succeed more. When you win, it makes you feel good. It also is a big volleyball for women, promotes women's sports, and is an entertainment for families. According to New York Times, Nebraska volleyball played at the Memorial Stadium recently in a big game. They broke the record of 92,003 fans coming to the game. This is the record holder, holder beating it by three people. Now that our meeting's coming to an end, let's go back over what I taught you today. First, we passed through the rules of volleyball. Then we set up the fundamentals of volleyball and what you need to know. And finally, we killed the benefits in the, to society and yourself. As Lexi Rodriguez always says, it's one thing to have a role model, but it's another to be one. Thank you.